what I created was a Raspberry Pi based interface for getting ADSB data. If you don't know what ADSB is, it stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. And it's essentially a radar system to track planes in the air. And pilots use it all the time. Personally, I have a iPad with me at all times whenever I'm flying a plane in order to see ADSB broadcasts. So I make sure I don't collide with other planes in the sky. It's also used by ground control, um, which are solely responsible for coordinating when um, planes get to land at a specific airport and when they get to depart, and they all rely on this ADSB infrastructure. But the problem with ADSB is that it's unauthenticated and it's unencrypted, making it really vulnerable to attacks such as jamming or spoofing, where a ground-based attacker can send up malicious signals in the air in order to interfere with um, true or real ADSB signals. So um, a common attack is called ADSB spoofing where a hacker transmits fake um, masqueraded ADSB packets, um, pretending that there is a plane in the sky when there actually isn't. And this could cause massive flight delays, collisions, and a whole bunch of chaos. So the goal of this project was to make a affordable um, and accessible device that's based on the Raspberry Pi that detects for um, ADSB spoofing scenarios using a wide range of techniques such as RF fingerprinting, which checks for fluctuations within the radio signals that are transmitted on the radar system. Because ADSB operates on the 1090 megahertz frequency, you can scan that specific frequency, check for fluctuations, and if there's like a really absurd or obscene a fluctuation, then that might be an indicator of an attack. Cody and I are working on a video right now to put up on the Redia channel about this device, but you can see here I use a 1090 megahertz antenna, so you can have a station stationary system set up if you choose to build this device, or you can choose to bring it up with you on a plane. I chose to bring it up with me because I wanted to extend the range of data I had access to and also tried out in different airports. So I think I tested it out um, over the Burbank airport, the Santa Monica airport. I think I stopped by the Torrance airport at one point and also LAX as well. So overall, this was a really fun project and I'm excited to be um, releasing content about it soon.